Thelma Wright. Jackie Wright. With eyes from both sides, living my life in and out of the game. It's uh, a book about my life, a true story, um, about how um, I grew up in South Philly, my background, where I come from, um, and my meeting my husband who was involved in the drug game and um, basically he gets killed. Um, after he gets killed, I step in and take over his business. We met in 1977, started dating in 77. We were married in 83. He was killed in 86. So from 1986 to um, the summer of 1991 is basically when I stepped in. I'd gone to work as, as usual that day. I was working in Center City at the time, and my husband would uh, have someone pick me up from work every day. We weren't married at that time. We were dating, living together. And um, I hadn't spoken to him that day. And when uh, his friend Bubbles picked me up, I asked Bubbles, you know, where was he? And so uh, I, went, I located where he was and went to see him and talk with him. I didn't know he was high that day. And, uh, you know, when, I, when, we, when we arrived uh, on the corner of 24th and Carpenter, he was standing there with this big Mexican sombrero hat on and oversized shirt and just looking wild-eyed like he could at times when he was high. And I went over and talked with him and, you know, I was saying, why well, I hadn't talked to you today, what's going on? He said, look, you know, we're really busy, he's trying to get this money, we got money on the street, trying to collect. And why don't you just go on home and I'll talk to you later? Well, I was still a little pee because after all, like, I'm not thinking about the money in the streets. It's my birthday, you know? And um, I went to walk away from him. As I walked away from him, I gave him a look. And, you know, he was the type of person, like, you know, I just didn't look at him any kind of way or the hand on the hip or the bottom of the head was just totally out, totally disrespectful as far as he was concerned. And I looked at him you know, in a way to let him know that I wasn't happy about the situation. And as I went to walk away from him and I turned back to look at him, I saw the gun, um, I saw the gun pointed, not, not, not so much directly at me, but I saw it. And as I turned back around to take the next step, as I stepped down, I fell, I was hit in the, in the right leg and it was just, mayhem just everybody was just in sheer panic and um, one of his friends his partner hollered to him you know that to go on that he had me they would take care of me and uh, one of the other fellas picked me up put me in a car bubbles drove me to the hospital and it was just just a crazy situation I mean like when we talked about it later he you know he apologized to me. He said he did not mean to shoot me. He just was trying to scare me. He he just shot too straight, you know. I mean, in his own mind, he tried to reason this, which I never understood. It was wrong. It made no sense. I, you know, I said, how could you pull a gun on me? I was never any type of threat to you. I was walking away from you. You know, why would you do that? And he just wanted me to understand, which I never understood. Only thing I understood was it was wrong. It should have never happened. My primary focus, I would say, would be young women, young girls. Um, I'd like them to understand that, that all that glitters is not gold, that there are consequences and, and, you know, there's a reaction for every action. And that is very important that young girls realize that they need to um, get their education, they need to get as much education as they can. They need to know how to be self-supporting. Um, it doesn't matter who you marry or who you're with. Um, you know, if you have a good man, he's going to look out for you, as mine did. But it's very important to, to get your education, as much education as you, as you can. I really, you know, feel as though um, I wish I had done that. It's not too late. I do plan on going back to school to get a degree in criminal justice. But it is important for, for young girls to know how to take care of themselves.